This is part two of the individualized vestibular recovery system reset. So the test that we've chosen for this to help balance out the brain and to allow you to activate your parasympathetic system in many cases when it's unbalanced and what will transpire as the recovery methods as we've talked about before are more effective. The test is the Sharp and Romberg test. So what we have here as when I, when I show this test is basically a test where the athlete will um, basically stand one foot behind the other and we call it a and this is really a modified so it's in a sprinting stance to make it sport more sports applicable but the athlete will stand there in a, in a sprinting stance now what you're looking for is a positive test the athlete will close their eyes the athlete is on their toes in their bare feet and in the running position that back leg is super straight. I'll give you a side view. Do these need to be touching the feet? Not necessarily need to be touching. But what what will transpire is the athlete, again, will fall to the left or to the right. And that is the Sharpen Romberg's modified, we call it, you should, I guess we should call it the modified uh, sprint test, sprinting position. But we're just giving credit where credit due with the Sharpen uh, Romberg's test. So let me... Keep in mind, eyes closed, no shoes, uh, in a quiet room. And if you can't get a good positive on what direction athlete falls, and that direction would be the positive, so it's a positive right or positive left, um, you can do it an optional after the workout when they're a little distressed. So I'll give you an example here. Here's a positive left. Um, sharp Rombergs with our variation of the sprint. So feet are aligned. And here and he will fall left okay pretty simple I'll play that one more time but you can see he gets in position and then he gets in the sprint position eyes closed and he falls to the left so uh, the other possibility is that they fall to the right I'm not going to show you a video because it's just the same thing where the athlete falls to his or her right so let me show you a side view of how this should look and what transpires is the athlete will get, try to keep the leg straight. You see how he locks out the leg. Um, there's a little space in between here. He would actually close his eyes and be in a quiet room. And you would, this is just a side view so a coach or somebody can make sure that they're doing it correctly and get this uh, into this test position and then see if they fall to the right or the left. So with that being said, again, this is part two and you can now learn the results. Once you get these results, you can learn what exercises to prescribe. So um, the exercises are in the next video so that you can give your kids an individual um, prescription. So there, there'll be basically four possibilities or actually three variations of the possibilities. And that's it. But again, this will be individualized for your athlete.